Hi friends, it's Claire from Scrappy Nerd UK and welcome to episode 11 of my Traveller's Notebook with Freckled Fawn series. And here I am going to um, show you the benefits of using these pocket pages. Um, so hanging around in my craft room, I have a lot of pieces of ephemera, stuff that I've picked up from outings, days out, that sort of thing. And I thought this Traveller's Notebook's perfect because... When I work in a traveller's notebook, not the, the pocket page one, just the um, just the paper ones, trying to add in pieces of ephemera and stuff like that, it's not protected. So I am really reluctant to do that, but I thought this would be a perfect opportunity to be able to add some um, bits that I've picked up um, into a format that's going to protect them. So here is, this is just part of a bag, um, me and... Georgia, who's Ramblings a Geo on YouTube, we um, went off for a little, um, well, we had some crafty adventures last summer and we went to um, find little scrapbook shops or we went to Hobbycraft or we just went to go and do a few um, a few things. So this was a little find that we, um, that we found in a place called Godalming. And this is just part of the bag um, from my purchase and I've kept it and it's been sat there since July of last year without me doing anything with it. So I kept the bag and I also kept hold of there was a little loyalty card and um, this other little strip thing which I think is meant to be a bookmark. So I thought I'd use them on a layout here. So I quickly... Quickly printed the photo from then. I'm so far behind on my photo printing. So I'm just printing them as I go at the moment as I find bits that I want to scrap. So I'm just going through the um, the pattern paper from uh, Freckled Fawn. And I need to let you know, um, I understand due to the new laws that these products have been supplied by Freckled Fawn. Obviously. There we go, my disclosure is out of the way. So I am just um, backing, looking to back my photograph with, um, initially I was looking to do it with another pattern paper, but the pattern is just competing, um, the pattern on the the, um, the background and the one that I was trying to layer was just, were just competing with each other. So I decided because there's the black in the paper bag on the left hand side, I'm going to back it with just some black cardstock on the right hand side. I'm just going to do the tiniest little um, thin sliver of um, a black outline around this photo and you'll see that it really does help to uh, make it pop against the pattern paper underneath. So I'm just using my faithful Fiskars trimmer. Having said that, these blades in my, the blades in my trimmer just don't seem to be lasting that long anymore. Um, let me know what trimmer you use and how you get on with the blades and how you find it. I mean, I know that there's rotary trimmers that, um, the blades last, um, indefinitely some of them or, um, a lot better than the, um, the, the blades on the Fiskars one, but I'm just forever replacing the blades and it costs an absolute fortune. So, um, I'm asking the Scrappy community, if you're watching this, do let me know what trimmer you use so I can look into purchasing a new trimmer. Um, or if you've got any tips for the Fiskars one, then um, again, let me know um, because the blades aren't, well, they're not expensive, but they're not cheap either. So two blades here in the UK, if you can find them, you're lucky to get them for five pound and I'll easily go through a blade a month, easily. So I'm looking for something in between. Yeah, so I know the you can get the rotary trimmers, but I like to gut my cardstock, and you can't do that with a rotary trimmer. So that's why I go with one of the ones where you can sort of select where in the page you trim. <clears throat> anyway, back to what I'm doing here. So that um, piece there, and as I said, it was... I think it was meant to be a bookmark, um, but I've just used the middle bit to um, bring that craft over onto the right hand side. And then this top bit of the um, the bookmark, I've just cut off to create a piece of ephemera. It's great when you can um, recycle, upcycle things to include in your scrapbooking. That's exactly what I've done. 
with that piece there but I wasn't sure which side I wanted it on so I've, I've just left it there for the minute it's not stuck down at the moment so I'm just having a look at these um, the foam words and also the puffy words initially was going to use I like the white that white foam there on the craft I think that really does look good um, I think it pops and I like the word create um, but then I had all this space at the top um, above my photo so I thought I would use the black ones to pop my title up there and my title is travel and find and as I said the, we went on um, a few trips over summer and went and found some um, different scrapbooking stores and so yeah my title is travel and find and that's perfect because those two words brought me the inspiration to um, for my title for this one and again, just using those little tile alphas from Freckled Fawn. Those black ones are looking quite sorry for themselves now. I am getting quite low um, on those ones, but they're a great staple to have in any kit. Um, and the red ones are great. I don't think I've used the white ones yet. They've got holographic foil on. So I need to, um, I need to find a project that I want to use the white alphas with as well. It's because I like to scrap a lot on white, so with the white alphas, I need to have a darker background to use them. So here I'm coming in then with just a few embellishments. So we have, I'm just tidying up as I go along. Um, we've got some washi strips and I've mixed, um, I've got three of the embellishment kits and I've just mixed them all in together now and I'm just gonna mix and match as to what I use. So I'll grab this strip here of the heart washi and it's got that yellowy mustard colour in which matches the yellow on the pattern paper on the right hand side. So I'm just going to bring that in um, across that um, craft bag. And then I also go with that pinky coral washi tape as well because again that ties in that pinky corally colour um, from the right hand side as well so that pulls that across to the left and here's a little tip so um, don't do it with a cardboard bit piece of cardboard because it's not going to work but um, I used to have an old um, store card um, that I used just to tear the washi tape so if you line it up on the edge you can tear washi with with it but I try to use it with um, with that bit of cardboard <laughs> it didn't have the same effect and it just ended up tearing don't be like me <clears throat> so I've got the rest of that pink um, coral washi which I'm going to add on to the right hand side there to help bring both sides of this layout together and then finally I'm going to come in with these enamel hearts which I love and I'm going to use this teal color so I use them in varying sizes so one on the left there um, that big one to the bottom right and then just a small one above my title as well and then I'm going to pop this into um, oh no I'm not I do I do some journaling so this took me ages to figure out whether I wanted to add journaling if I could get away with adding adding any hidden journaling um, whether there was another way that I could do um, a tip in which is another video that I'm working on um, whether I wanted to journal all the way across the bottom of this white area and then I decided that actually down that bottom right hand corner don't worry the video is not frozen that's just me thinking uh, down in the bottom right hand corner is where I wanted to um, add my journaling so I just come in with a 0.5 black fine line pen and I've just drawn myself some messy lines there in order to add my journaling onto how many times have I said journaling in the last 30 seconds answers on a postcard so I'm just adding in my journaling um, for this layout and it's something as I said in previous videos it's something that I'm definitely trying to do more of um, to remember the story behind the photo when I look back so nothing too major in my um, what I'm writing there and then I'll go to put it into um, the, the pocket pages. And so, oh, you see there, it's, it's, it's in the pocket, it's protected. It's not going to get damaged, it's not going to get dirty. Um, so, yeah, I was going to add another black line around that little um, uh, tabby thing that I've put at the bottom 
um, but I decide against it. And then I realised that actually I haven't date stamped this, so um, and I couldn't remember the date of it, so I'm going to go back and do that. But I do go back in with a coordinating teal label sticker for the date to go on as well. So thank you very much for joining me for episode 11. All the details for Freckled Fauna are in the description box down below. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, please hit the subscribe button and I'll see you next time.